In my last video, we were counting the number of files in folders and subfolders. Uh, and I had lots of responses in the comments with slight variations. Some people were showing because the command that I showed uh, gave you the total number of counts of files in a folder and its subfolders, where some people were showing uh, examples where it broke down the individual subfolders and gave counts for those as well. But one of my viewers, uh, Valentin, this is his name right here, he wanted to do it with awk, or actually gawk. So let's have a look at This is the original command, or at least a, a close simulation of the original command. If we run that, I list all the... Uh, current folders and then it gives you a count on how many files are in that folder and subfolders putting the largest at the bottom uh, So let's go ahead and have a look at his command now. I don't use awk that much So this command looks a little confusing to me, but if you read through it, it's it does make sense It's if, if you actually get it, it's not something I'd be able to type from memory But let's go ahead and run it and see how it goes so there we go. He actually uh, counts how many folders are in the current directory and then gives you their name and then gives you the count of files in, in that folder and subfolders, subdirectories, and also gives you a total count at the bottom, which is nice. He puts the largest uh, folders at the top, so a little reverse from what I did. Uh, but it's nice, but uh, some of the formatting, especially with long file names, uh, things get pushed over like that. He was wondering uh, if I could tell him how to break it down into columns. So my first thought was to use the column command. So take his awk command and pipe that into column-t, like so. And that kind of works. So now we have uh, the count, the number over here, the number of the directory, the directory name, and the, the number of files inside that directory over here, broken down into nice columns. But we already see some issues down here. For example, the total number, and then there's a big long space here, and then a big long space here, because it's using spaces in the line to decide where to put the columns. And not only is it an issue down here at the bottom, but if I was to go up, you can see if there's any spaces in the file names, which you really should try to avoid, but it does happen that those get miscolumned as well. Well, he came back and he suggested uh, this morning using column and then this command here. And what this does is it's saying, instead of using spaces, to decide where the columns are to use tabs. Uh, and when I run that, it doesn't really really work that much better for me because uh, if you have long file names, it's still pushing these numbers over. But his command gave me an idea. So if we come in here, if I was to, well, remove that column command and go back into his command, right here, this percent four is the count for the files inside the directory. I'm gonna put a pipe symbol before that. So if I run that, you can see now we are going to get all our information, but right here we're putting a little pipe symbol. And now that we do that, I can go back and use his suggestion of using column, and but instead of using tabs, I'm gonna say use the pipe symbol and then use that to decide where the columns are. So when I do that, we have our numbers over here, we have our directory name, and then we have a column over here with the count. And it's kind of far because I do have some long names up here and it's gonna to go to the longest name. So if we had shorter file names, this column would be moved over, but it's all in a straight line. So that's what I came up with. Love to see if you guys come up with anything better. Uh, maybe doing it still in the awk command without having to pipe into a new command, which I think was his, uh, maybe his original goal of using awk. Uh, but I, I like that we've got this nicely formatted now and regardless of how long these file names are, our column over here with the count is all in a straight line. And again, so all I did was add a pipe symbol because I figured there's not gonna be any files with a pipe symbol in the name, hopefully. And then we're using that as our delimiter, if you will, or our special character to decide where the columns go. So uh, I thank for, thank you. I wanna thank you all for your responses, all the variations on this command. And I hope that you all learned something and I hope that you have a great day.